Figma just launched Jambud for Figjam and here's how you can benefit it to become a better designer. Hello my work is fam! Welcome to my channel, my name is Mia and this is Miworkis. Today I'm going to give you 5 different use cases for using Jambot in Figma. Let's dig this. So basically there are a couple of different ways that you can use Jambot which is like brainstorming, summarizing, creating visual mind maps, like reframing new texts and stuff like that. But the things that I'm going to tell you is how you can actually use it to become a better designer. So the first thing is ideas. So with ideas you can generate and produce new ideas related to just one input. So here's how you can use it in Figma. I already created this idea thing with like ideas for a play to earn web based game and it gave me a bunch of different ideas to play with and like present to my clients maybe and I think this is a really good way of using the ID8 feature here. The second thing that you can use is rabbit hole. So with rabbit hole you can dig deeper into a certain topic and here's how you can make use to this. This is actually my personal favorite, but I don't want to do it regarding this one. So let's just create a new sticky note here and open up the new Jamba here. And let's connect this to this one. Okay. And now let's write play to earn on blockchain just to go over that rabbit hole and like learn more about it let's just click here and see what it gives us okay so go deeper smart contracts is going to teach us about the smart contracts the nfts the centralized economics of play to earn models blockchain based in-game economics so this is what i want to learn about and the amazing thing about this is that you can easily learn the business of your upcoming project and product just by going down the rabbit hole and this is actually my personalized like favorite i really love this and you can just go deeper and just keep doing this and like learn everything you need to know about something the other thing that you can do is similar stuff. So again, with this, you can create related topics to branch out and open new areas to explore. Okay, the other thing is similar stuff. I'm just gonna write UX articles and see what it gives us. So let's do similar stuff. Uh, show me user experience, design, user interface, design, user testing, interaction design, information article. These are all similar to UX articles. You can actually choose one of them. So like usability testing and teach me about this. And like you could actually play around like a lot. And for example, let's say I want to do something else. I want to use this to learn about level design in games and just ask it to teach me about it so this is actually pretty cool as well and like it teaches you how to do lever design awesome one more thing that is really useful is code this up there are obviously different platforms that you can do this with it but jambot again is actually a really good choice let's bring these two back and check the code so i want the code for a hover state of a card a card a white in whole card hover state so i'm gonna click on that and say code this up and then it says what language i'm just gonna write html CSS and this is it this is like background color is gonna be white this is the width and height oh look at that this is cool this is the width and the height and then the border transition and like you could give it more data to fix this better but I think this is pretty cool to just give a prompt and get the code I love it obviously 
feels really good with this ui on fake jam and the last but not least is the custom mode which is again you can create your custom prompts it's basically something like chat gpt but visualize and here's how you can use it so i'm gonna write user journey for a play to earn game and then right here that give me the flow chart and i'm just gonna click on run and like this is how it gave me the flow chart i think it could do much better as figma is a place for flow charts but still it is pretty cool and like this is where you have the most of the power to create and do anything you want obviously it has other things as well which is ask a question teach me about this i show you give me some more stuff summarize you rewrite this turning this into like whatever you want song joke poem whatever and then code this up and custom which i told you about all of these are pretty cool i love the visualization of this and how it looks super clean easy to use and and that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe leave a like comment and tell me what you want to do with this new jambot feature of figma and i'm gonna see you in the next one bye